to be back with you guys. As you can see, it's the holidays. I've decorated. You can't really see the whole house, but um, there's a tree right there. There's my favorite pillow. There's the big tree. Ooh, we gotta get these Christmas cards out. Um, it's just really sweet times here in the Smith home. Gosh, I feel like you guys missed a lot, but that's my fault because I haven't posted anything. But don't worry. I will be posting more and uh, you guys will be able to stay up to date with what's going on. We went to Israel. It was amazing um, just to be able to go to Israel with my husband and with a bunch of other married couples. We spent so many hours walking, talking, praying, worshiping, um, praying for the land and really just loving on the people. And so Israel is a beautiful place. The people are beautiful and what an experience um, to have with my husband. And thank you to everybody who contributed and who prayed um, and who supported us along the way in that. So anyways, it's the holidays. As you can see, Christmas time is here. I don't know all of the words. <clears throat> so it's the holiday season. We've already had Thanksgiving. We're gearing up for Christmas. And I have some announcements. No, we're not pregnant. But let me tell you how wonderful and beautiful it is to have a husband that prays and a husband that hears from the Lord. Um, it's just the biggest blessing that I could ever ask for. So we were just praying about what's next for us, new seasons, new adventures, um, new journeys in our marriage. Um, and the Lord gave us a lot of clear words. One of the biggest words we received um, was really about taking more risks. So my husband heard from the Lord and the Lord straight up told him, tell your wife she can resign from her job. <laughs> so being the obedient um, children of God that we are, uh, I resigned from my job. And it wasn't just like, oh, resign from your job and do nothing. No. It was like, hey, the Lord's speaking to us. What? What is he trying to say? And we both felt like the Lord was saying, make room for the things that I've called you to do. Make room to move forward in the dreams and desires that I've put in you. And so my husband, Weston, and I, are just excited for what's next. We're just doing just that, making room um, for the things that I'm passionate about, the things that the Lord's put in my heart, um, leading worship, um, just making the music, and it's, and it's been so good, so amazing. I mean, how good is the Lord that he would say, hey, do this one thing so I can make room for your heart's desires. And we're supposed to pray for our heart's desires and being a woman of faith that I am, I just strongly believe that the Lord is moving my husband and I from glory to glory and from strength to strength and um, from dream to destiny. And I bet you're wondering, what are you doing now, Viv? Well, that's a good question. One of the things that I'm so excited that I get to do is I get to be a vocal coach and do private lessons for vocal students. I have had the honor to work alongside some amazing people and learn from some incredible, um, talented people that are really truly gifted. And so I feel blessed and privileged that I actually have learned from them and can pass that on to other worshipers. Just recently started working more with Worship Team Academy, which is through Gateway Church. And it is just a phenomenal program for musicians and vocalists who are looking to better their craft, who wanna lead worship, um, who wanna just get involved and hone in on their craft um, and get better. And so I've been blessed to help assist with that. And I've gotta tell you, it's just been like the biggest blessing to 
to see the young vocalist um, of all ages but kind of just young in their craft or maybe they've been singing for a long time or just getting started but it's been such a blessing to just walk alongside other vocalists and help them to just hone in on their talent and their gifts and um, really just encourage them pour courage into people and just walk alongside them as they follow the desires of their heart and also follow God's purpose for their lives. I mean, it's just been incredible and I'm just excited that I can participate in it. And if any of you are interested in honing in on your craft vocally, uh, message me, let me know, I'll hook you up. You can send me a private message or you can send me a message on Instagram or email me, I'll put the information below there. <laughs> Hit me up, hit me up, hit me up. Anyway, so I'm excited to be back. Be on the lookout for more to come. And hopefully I can uh, get more of a consistent schedule. It's literally been a few months, y'all. I've missed you guys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, but thank you for um, sticking in there with me and the grace to have a break to just kind of live life a little. Thank you so much for checking back in with me. Stay up to date, be on the lookout, hit the little bell to get notifications, and don't forget to subscribe um, and like if you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.